Missouri has been trying to join the club of states that host major Hollywood film productions. It took a big step in that direction just this month, but not before the industry hit a major standstill. Nick and Amy will be gone, but then we never really existed. Nick loved a girl I was pretending to be. David Fincher's 2014 mystery thriller Gone Girl was the last major Hollywood film project shot in the state of Missouri. That's the year a tax credit expired, which gave certain film and TV projects incentives to pick Missouri locations to shoot. Since it expired, studios have opted to film in more tax-friendly states. Your father's laundering money for a Mexican drug cartel. Netflix's Ozark, while set in Missouri, was primarily shot in the Atlanta area, and producers of the Paramount Plus show Tulsa King originally had it set in Kansas City, but opted instead for the titular Oklahoma location. This month, Governor Parson signed a new version of that tax credit. But it was about two months too late, as the Writers Guild of America went on strike in early May. I caught up with Missouri native Ken Lazebnik, a screenwriter in L.A., as he was on the picket line. Once you have a film project that is shooting in Missouri, there's all kinds of jobs that are involved with that. Making of a film project, whether it's film or TV, uh, is really a, an undertaking that touches a lot of different industries. That's in large part why Justin Bonneau works with Film in Mo to make this state more attractive to big studios. Art department, you know, set decoration department, if you're a member of the Teamsters driving the trucks to and from sets, uh, your camera department, your grip and electric departments, uh, costume, wardrobe, hair, makeup, all of those departments, that, that is, that's an industry that's just coming full stop. Right now, the productions that do happen in Missouri account for about 11,000 jobs and more than $750 million in wages. In Jefferson City, Joe McLean, News 4.